Welcome to the Ticket Demo Series. Uh, in today's presentation, we're going to work through and highlight all the places an end user can, can work in Ticket. Uh, so Ticket is an omni-channel experience, and the end user can work inside of Teams, uh, web, and email. And depending on uh, their workflow and what's, what's implemented and deployed for Ticket, they can naturally land in one of those channels to respond to things, to, to update things, and things of that nature as an end user. Inside of Teams, uh, the end user is going to work within what's called Ticket Virtual Agent. Uh, Ticket Virtual Agent is an app within the M365 ecosystem that uh, admins will push to all of the end users. And you'll see here that I have it deployed and pinned to my Teams experience. I always like to pause here and highlight something around Ticket Virtual Agent. This is, this is going to be the home for, for the end users and teams. Uh, this is where they will receive updates for tickets they've created. This is where they will um, be able to submit tickets, things of that nature, and just kind of scroll through to see some of those, those notifications and updates, things like that. Um, but this experience can be completely branded. Uh, so uh, your business can rename this to help or support, change the icon, the logo, uh, any of the short or long descriptions, things like that. This is all branded, or it's all capable of being branded and customized to, to your business needs, um, which I think is important and all of our customers do. I we'll want to call it out. Now, uh, the end user um, can, will, sorry, will receive um, notifications in this experience. They also can submit tickets uh, in this experience. And we'll highlight how to do this in, in other presentations. But the thing to focus on here is that uh, teams and Ticket Virtual Agent is one place where an end user uh, can work uh, with Ticket. The second place is the web experience. Now, we do have a direct URL to the web experience. So here is the uh, Ticket web portal. Um, and here, Adele um, will be able to see all of the tickets she's created and all the approvals she may need to, may need to action. We also expose the web experience inside of Ticket Virtual Agent. Uh, it's a tab here. And if I click on that tab, what you'll see here is that the um, ticket request portal will load within Teams and be able to show the same experience that we saw uh, with that direct direct URL, URL, excuse me. So you'll see all the requests that Adele has created and you'll see all the approvals here. Um, end users and Adele uh, can also work inside of email. Uh, so here is Adele's email, and she can do a couple of things here. One, she can open up tickets, so she can open up tickets to the IT team. We, we do support multiple inboxes, so you know, to the HR team as well, if it's an HR issue, something you want to take advantage of. When Adele sends a, an email in to, to create a ticket, uh, she'll receive notifications along the way. Um, these can be customized and curated to whatever you want to say. Um, and at any point, Adele can also um, respond to these tickets and it will update uh, the respective ticket here. Um, if any approvals were to come in as well, she can approve uh, those via email. So to recap, Adele and end users uh, within Ticket can work across three different channels. They can work in Teams, and they can work in web, and can work in email. And depending on what's deployed, um, they can naturally land in one of those workflows and respond to things, and update things, and things of that nature. In another presentation, we're going to highlight all the places an agent can work. Um, so go check that out. And I want to thank you for taking time to watch this presentation. If you have any more questions, please email team uh, at ticket.ai. Thank you.